guys. So we are getting ready to talk about visualizing again. Yesterday you got to do it with a poem and you got to draw me a fun picture. So we're gonna start kind of adding a little bit more to visualizing and how it can help you as a reader. So remember when we visualize, it means that we make a picture in our minds based on the words that we're reading. And so like this little girl's reading the sentence, it was a beautiful day at the beach. And then, so she has a picture in her mind, okay? Well, today I'm going to read a book and I'm going to stop. Um, I'm gonna read and then I'm gonna stop in a few places when my mind starts to make a picture. And then I'm going to write it down on um, this page right here. So I'm gonna kind of shift up a little bit when it's time to write on that page. It's got sunglasses or glasses because you see through glasses. And it says visualize as you read. So in the glasses, we're going to be drawing a picture of what we saw. And down here, this is gonna be the sentence or most of the words from the book, okay? So I'm gonna show you me filling it out from my book. And then I'm gonna give you an audio book. And I'm picking an audiobook on purpose because an audiobook is a book that reads to you but doesn't show you any pictures. So you are forced to make the pictures in your head as you listen. So as you listen to the book that I give you, when you get to a spot where you made a picture in your head, pause the video and draw a picture of what you see in your head and then go back and write down the words that you remembered hearing. If you have to kind of rewind a little bit to see um, what the book actually said, then you can do that. But watch how I do it, and that should help you. So I'm going to read uh, Lost and Found. I'm not going to read the whole book. I'm just gonna read you parts of it um, to help us with visualizing, okay? So let me get situated here. Okay, Lost and Found. Here we go. Where's your hat? Mom asked. I don't know, I said. It was my favorite hat. Blue and white with orange stars all the way around. It used to have a fuzzy red ball on top, but it fell off. Okay, so right there, I'm already visualizing what the hat looks like. So I'm gonna go back and read it again. It was my favorite hat. Blue and white with orange stars all the way around. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the used to have the, the red part on top. Okay, so here it says what was in the book. Let's see if I can slide this down so maybe you guys can see better. Okay, what's in the book? So right here I'm gonna write down what it said. It said it was orange and white, no, blue and white with orange stars all around. It was orange and white. with blue stars all around. Okay, now I'm going to draw a picture of what that looks like in my head. So let's see, I'm gonna draw, and it's hard to draw what we see in our mind. So I see it. He didn't say it was striped, but this is how I see it. I see blue and white. And then I see these would be orange. Orange stars on like that part that goes around. That's the way I see it. So. If I had a different colored marker, I would make those orange, but I don't, so. Um, but you, you have different colors at home. So there's my blue hat with um, orange stars all the way around, because I see it going all the way around the head. Okay, here we go. Your grandmother made you that hat. I know. What'll we tell her when she comes to visit this weekend? I don't know. The minute you get to school tomorrow, you go look in the lost and found. Okay. I said, but the next morning I didn't go to the lost and found. I decided to find the hat myself. 
At recess, I looked by the basketball hoop and under the slide and behind the baseball backstop. I asked D Devon if he had seen it. It's blue and white with orange stars all the way around, I told him. Nope, he said. Did you look in the lost and found? I made a face. I know, Devon said. I lost my baseball jacket last month, but I was too afraid to go see Mr. Rum Rumkowski. Can you just get another hat? Asked Jessica. I shook my head. Gran made that one for me and I have to find it, even if it means asking Mr. Rumkowski. Uh-oh, they said. After recess, I looked for my hat in my desk and under the hamster cage and behind the bookshelves. I asked Tamara if she'd seen it. No, she said. Did you ask Mr. Rumkowski? I made a face. I know, said Tamara. I lost my sparkly purple scarf last month, but I was too afraid to ask him. I have lots of hats, Jimmy said. You can have one of mine. Thanks, I said, but I have to find it even if it means asking Mr. Rumkowski. Oh no, they both said. Okay, I had other spots where I had visualization, but I'm, I'm saving a spot. The next day, my friends asked me if I'd found my hat. No, I said, I've looked everywhere. There's only one thing left to do, go to the lost and found. But that means talking to Mr. Rumkowski, said Jimmy. Uh-oh, said the others. I know, I gulped. He's really old, so old. He was the custodian when my mom went to this school. Yeah, said Jessica. He's always frowning and grumbling and his office is way down at the end of that scary hallway behind the cafeteria. Okay, so I waited because I really wanted to talk about Mr. Rumkowski because the author in the book really tells us good details to help us get a good picture of him in our head. They're trying to make him seem like a scary guy. So let me write down some of the things he says. He's really old. He's so old that he was the custodian when my mom went to school. So that's what I'm gonna say. This is from the book. He's really old. So old that he was the custodian when my mom went to school. Now, I'm doing a lot of writing here. So when you do this, if you want to make little recordings for this spot, like read or say what the book said here and record it, that's fine. But I do want you to draw a picture of what the, you know, matches what the book said, okay? So let's see, now I gotta draw Mr. Rumkowski. Let's see, he's really old. Now I'm not very good at drawing people, so let's see. I see him, he kinda has like a droopy kinda long face and like wisps of hair, not very many pieces like really long ears because he's old. See, here's his ears. And his eyes, I think he's got glasses. I think I see him with glasses. He's got kind of a, a big nose. And, but he's, he's got glasses. He's looking like Frankenstein right now, kind of, isn't he? Hmm. And if he's old, he's probably got some like wrinkles. Maybe some bags under his eyes. Oh, he's looking terrifying. <laughs> All right, let's see. He's, he's got probably kind of a grumpy old face. There, there's Mr. Rumkowski, see? So I see him, wispy hair, long face, long ears, right? Like wrinkles, okay? so. He's 
not super scary. He just looks different, right? And the, but the kids are kind of scared of him, right? So that's kind of the picture I got in my head. It's not exactly right because I can't draw as good as what I see in my head, but I can do the best job, okay? So the book I have for you is a listening book, but there's no pictures because I want the pictures from what you hear Get part of the story here and then draw what you see in your head, okay?